Well, howdy, partner! I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to a game by Surprise Attack Games. Uh, it is called Western Press. It just recently came out. I don't know exactly when, but I would say this week, as of this recording. Um, and it is a uh, party game where you only need two controllers, but you can have up to 16 players playing it. And as you can see, the visuals are fantastic. And uh, I will just stop talking because the narrator is about to start. And you the can get the story. Bides. Way out west, there's only one sure way to rectify a grievance. You see, a battle doesn't care who's battling. Who's right is who wins. The duel has its rules and decides. A winner and a loser. Hooplehead owes you 50 cents, you draw iron. Some big mean mother hubbard keeps spitting on your boot, you draw iron. Town priest steals your horse parking space, you... Hell, you get the idea. See, the difference doesn't matter anymore once it's settled. As the smoke fades into dawn's light, history forgets the loser. And the duel? Well, the duel abides. I don't know about you, but I take comfort in that. Well, you ought to, because that's what a game is, and if you don't like the Western ideal Bridge. of Western Dueling, you're not going to like this game. But, uh, it is not necessarily a game of skill, per se, in terms of who is the quicker at draw. Uh, essentially, how the game plays is um, through a series of, I guess you could call it quick time uh, duels. And basically, uh, according to the Steam page description, this is the most historically accurate dueling game that you can play. I will just do this one against the can so you can get an idea of what to expect, but this is just practice, of course. Choose your weapon. Now, the thing is, uh, at the most, only ever two people are going to be playing. Uh, of course, I am recording this late at night, so I'm not going to have an opportunity right. to have friends over to demonstrate to for you. Do and I'm way fast. too impatient Three, to, uh, two, you know, one, draw. wait. Uh, I'm so bad at the directional ones, the directional ones just make me so much slower. Because uh, normally I can get under three seconds. Uh, but as you can see, that is pretty much the game. <laughs> and uh, you can play it against bots. Like, this skill testing thing was basically going to give you harder and harder bots to go play against. And as you beat them in the skill tester, you will unlock them for use. Now, Wyatt Hurt is a dick, and I cannot beat him. <laughs> he does, like, 2.5 seconds. And uh, like I said, when it gets to the directional buttons, I can't do it because, one, the 360 controller's D-pad sucks. Um, so even if you're pressing up, you're probably pressing up left or up right and you're screwing up. And every time you screw up, you get a fraction of a second added to your time and of course you will lose. Uh, and of course the stick is just not responsive enough to be fast. But that is just the skill tester. The whole point of the game is you can either play it online or you can play it local. Actually, you can actually bring local people into your game as you can see. Uh, into your online game so you can always bring people in and then you just have people trading controllers hot kind of, Instead of hot seat. It's gonna be hot controller if you will um, As of this posting there are not a lot of games out there. In fact, there are zero uh, Because it's such a recent release uh, the community is just not there, but if people are playing this game, my guess is that they are playing it locally with their buddies. So this is pretty much the main draw of the game. Not that you can't play online, um, but I have not seen the server. I had a room created for an hour. So just a word of warning, the community is not there if you're planning to only play online. Um, but the alternative is you can do a custom tournament. I'm going to bring this down to... Uh, let's let's do six including me and of course you can have bots you can add more human players uh, which you know I haven't done yet because again it's late at night anyways um, looking at? you can create your own profile it's just gonna keep track uh, stats for you you don't have to have profiles for everyone and of course these are the characters that I have unlocked and you may notice that this one here might belong to another game called Guacamelee. In fact, he does. 
Um, this is a Steam Workshop item that you can add to the game, but it is officially released by the developers, One Bit Studio. Or I can't, I don't know if it's One Bit or Surprise Attack, I think they're the same. Uh, for the purposes of this, however, let's go the most offensive was the shotgun wielding priest. Because that's what I do. Um, I'm going to put random bots, I'm going to put them on medium hard. Just so I can show you the final showdown. Um, because if I do put hard, it's more challenging for me. But I generally run the risk of losing and ruining this demonstration. Uh, this isn't obviously going to be a full let's play because there's not a whole lot to the game. Uh, the story is pretty not meaningful whatsoever. <clears throat> um, but, 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 if you don't uh, get how this game works after this video, well, I think you uh, might want to be looking elsewhere. There's not much more to it. Three, um, two, and again, one, you are... Generally, going to want to play this with friends because you can see both sides have to do their own thing. Uh, the neat thing is uh, the game con um, supports layouts for the 360 controller, the PS3 controller, your keyboard, and the Three, oddest thing, and two, I don't know what it is, but one, I assume that you can play this with a dance pad, which is just going to make the game incredibly interesting if you have two <laughs> PC enabled uh, Dance Revolution pads. They exist, and it would be a weird way to play the game, but it does show you the buttons for that. Um, maybe when I get, when it gets to my turn, All you know right. what? We'll, we'll skip this one. So when you skip uh, matches, you see this loading screen, and of course, where it says self-replicating, it can be any random amount of quote humorous unquote things. You may be slightly amused, but they're not going to make you laugh out loud. And of course, uh, it's going to be my turn, but I will show you the different layouts that are available. And the only reason I'm making this video is because I haven't found any. I was looking for someone who could take on Wyatt Hurt, but no one could. And so you can see here, it's got the Xbox layout. You press RB, you've got the PlayStation layout. And this is what I'm guessing is going to be the dance pad. I actually don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming that means dance pad. And of course, you can do control uh, keyboard. Now, the weird thing is the first button you press is what you're going to be playing. So I'm using my 360 controller here, but if I put it over here, it's going to show me PS3 inputs, even though I still have to use the 360 controller. Same thing, if I go to here to the keyboard inputs, the keyboard is not going to be responsive because I didn't choose the, I didn't press the key on the keyboard. It's weird. Uh, a little weirdness to the game. But anyways, we're going to be playing on the Twitch map, which is also official workshop items and I, I'm not really a twitch I have a twitch account but I don't broadcast anything my bandwidth sucks anyways here we go Two, one. now as you can see uh, up in the top uh, we basically get two hits uh, when you're playing against a skill tester it's a random between two hits or one hit Three, and I think you can two, change that later. I have no idea. Obviously, when the bots are at a lower difficulty, they are more prone to screwing up and adding time. And of course, uh, there is... Um, you know, it's, it's going to determine who wins based on the fastest time. But there is actually another mode that you can't access here, but uh, in the online, I think, you can do this thing called memory mode. Oh, I get a buy. Nice. And uh, we're just going to continue because I do want to show you the difference when it comes to the final showdown. And of course, there's an epilogue, and you'll see everything that the game has to offer and whether or not you get it. It's only five bucks. It's about half the price of my lunch today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not much, but if you get, you know, get some people over, it could be a lot of fun. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna be fighting Ms. Vera, who is using I have I forget what the avatar's name is. Grand final. But her uh, her shooting animation is kind of jerkish because it takes so long. Because she does this whole acrobatic um, gun kata thing. So we are doing the final showdown. 
and you will notice that it's a little bit different. And then there were two. On my mark. See, it looks beautiful, and now it says get ready, so at any time the chart can show up, you're not gonna see that little meter build up, so it's basically gonna show up and you're ready to go. And this one is one life only. Anyhow. Oh! Who got first? I think I might have lost. Oh no, I won! Yes! Finally. <laughs> I've lost this so many times because for some reason you get to the final showdown and the bots go nuts. So that's it. The gun, uh, shotgun wielding priest has won. And of course, you are entreated to an epilogue, uh, at w at which changes, of course, depending on who wins, but it doesn't change by a lot. So I am the 3.111 second kid, which is a shitty time, I have to say. And which is why I normally lose in heart, because I'm so not... For some reason, the surprise chart just gets me. Um, because the bots generally start their sequence immediately, whereas I can't really read the first note, if you will, until it stops moving. So it's a little bit irritating uh, for me, especially when it comes to why it hurt. And uh, for those people who came to see me take on why it hurt, I'll do it once just to show you the speed because I will fail. Um, now I haven't watched this in full, I don't know... Oh, okay, it's just credit, so we can skip that. And then you get an epilogue. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got great music. This beautiful pixel art, I love well, it. Well, that about does it. Sad to see some go and thankful for others. Though I get the feeling we'll see this all play out again. Different time, different folk maybe. Each as anxious as the other to push back against the Western press. Oh, look at me, rambling again. Sure hope you folks enjoyed yourself. And I trust this isn't the last time you'll try your luck at the duel. Because like a wise man once said, the duel, <laughs> she always abides. That's an incredibly muscular horse, if I may say so. And that's it. That's the epilogue. You will get uh, an achievement if you watch that. And here we go. So one last thing that I'm going to do. Uh, and again, I only made this right. video because I just go. didn't really find any in English. I, f I found some in Russian and I can't remember what else. Uh, and obviously other people are going to eventually start putting it up, playing it with their friends. And you can go and watch those when have fun. Uh, this is more for people who are just interested in the game who might want to see it. I'm going to do why I heard just once. And you will see me get my ass handed to me. Choose your controller. And you don't choose your contr uh, your your character in the skill tester. You're always gonna be this chick. And there she is. There were two. Uh, look familiar? On my mark. Yeah. I'm so gonna die. Draw. No, no, I, I'm not even, no. <laughs> I have got, I have been able to do the entire chart, but he's always faster than me. But the moment I screw up, it's done. And you can retry this as many times, but of course, because it's the final showdown, it's a little bit more irritating because you got to waste a lot of time waiting. But I will eventually unlock him, but I just wanted to show that to people. Um, and that's it. That is Western Press. So... Go give it, give it a look. It's very cheap. Um, and it's got a little bug here because because I can't see my screen. But if I press something, you'll see it come up. So that is one thing that I've run into a couple times. Don't really get it. I think it's just because I pressed B, it kills the menu. But anyways, Western Press. Go check it Western out. Press. It's a lot of fun. And of course, if you don't have friends, you can pretend you do and load bots. So it's good for everybody. Thanks for joining me on this one. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.